Hello, we fix everything and today I will show you how to clone a new SSD on your laptop when you don't have a internal slot for a SSD. What I'm using here is an adapter, SSD to USB. Uh, a friend of mine actually bought it for me, I don't know what is that exactly, uh, how it's called exactly, but it's like a converter. And it switches into the USB port on your laptop, like that. And the uh, SSD straight from the box, I opened it like 10 minutes ago. It's uh, brand new, didn't do anything with it. I have Macron Reflect 10 Home Edition trial version for 30 days. And I also uh, defragmented the hard drive. I'll show you now, if you open my computer. What I did is I went properties. I would recommend you doing the same tools. I did the defragmentation. It took like two hours and then I checked for any, uh, I unclicked this one, yeah. And then I checked for any codes or uh, bad uh, sectors or anything like that. It told me that there isn't any. Now, after we open the Macron Reflect, we will see that there is a disk here and we'll clone this disk it's only finding to be very careful what you're finding and what you're pressing you don't want to erase something and back up your data i haven't backed up anything i hope it works from the first time now this is what we're cloning and we're gonna clone it into into here yeah into this disk copy partitions then we're gonna hit shrink and extend to fill the target disk so you can see this one here, the C drive is 160 gigabytes. Here is 330. This one is 304. Here is 623. Yeah, so it's actually uh, scaling the partitions into the new one. So we're gonna next. We're gonna press next, just like that. Next again. We're not going to do it on a schedule. And we'll I'll just go through here, verify that uh, this is a stream, power saving, no, 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 no emails, no nothing. And sector starting, sector, no name, no name. Okay, so we'll just click finish now. And I'll also close my... Uh, all the folders and programs that I can close before I press the finish button. Okay, now press finish. <coughs> so Run this backup now. Yeah, save as a backup definition file. Okay, okay. And now we'll see how much time is going to take. It's starting in six minutes past five. Okay, so five hours, six hours later and 500 gigabytes and the clone is complete. Now we'll just fit it quickly into the laptop and you'll see if everything works. Yeah. Okay, so I just swapped the places. I didn't even do anything on the BIOS. And we'll see now if it boots up. It starts to boot up. Perfect. Well, I hope this video has been helpful to you. See you on the next one. Bye-bye. Well, that was easy.